Now, as I've said, it's very easy to stand here and go, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. But actually, what's much more important to all of us is, what can we do about this, and how can we make money? And this is where things start to get more interesting, because, yeah, I could sit here for hours, you wouldn't want me to, and talk about how difficult things are, but actually, at the same time, markets tend to reflect that difficulty. You'll know this from managing your own portfolios. Sometimes the best time to invest is when it feels worst. Or as Rothschilds once said, where blood's running in the street, that's the best time to invest. And there might not be, you know, with the glorious part of the North London we're in, blood running in the street, but we know it's pretty damn difficult out there because the risk's out there. So what can you do about it? Well, in very simple terms, I, I wouldn't stop the ride and get off. There were times to do that, the end of 2021, maybe the end of 2019. They'd been good times to actually reassess and put more money in cash. As I sit here today, I'm actually much more optimistic about making money than I've been for some time. And the first reason goes down to that V word at the start. Not the villains, but volatility. Volatility is your friend, not your enemy. In very simple terms, volatility in asset markets allows you the opportunity to switch between those things which are really loved into those things which are disliked and then make changes to your portfolios. And the one thing we can say about this decade so far is there's lots of volatility. That is a good thing. Yes, it is going to become harder to make money. In the last decade, because of the central banks pumping money into the system, all you needed to do was own stuff. Anything from a bond through to Cristiano Ronaldo, everything went up every single year in value because of the fact that there was money being pumped into financial markets. Now it's become more difficult. But actually, as an active investor, that's a really good opportunity to find specific investments. The third point in a reason for being invested to asset markets is the whole concept of inflation. We are in a new paradigm. We've gone from a situation where inflation was quiescent and not a problem, to now, as we go to the supermarket, we go and put petrol in the car, or we pay our children's school fees, or whatever it might be, we know that inflation is a real problem. Well, actually, I can find plenty of places to put our money where actually inflation protection is real and much better priced now than it has been for a long time looking backwards. So I've said, the era of just buying stuff, technical investment term, watching it going up in value, that those days are behind us. But actually, the opportunity to find specific investments we'll talk about in a minute are definitely around us. And I've got some good ideas in a minute. At least I think they're good ideas. And finally, the other thing to note is that markets have been really interesting for the last five or 10 years. There's been a whole cohort of assets which have gone absolutely nowhere and some which have done fantastically well. If you think about things like US equities, the technology sector, we can't sit here today and say that's cheap or it hasn't done very well, it's done exceptionally well. But there are some asset markets around there, things like emerging markets, which have done incredibly badly for the last decade, and that actually could offer some value going forwards. If you remember, if I did this presentation a decade ago where you went to go and see your financial advisor, they'd all talk about emerging markets. Now if they talk about emerging markets, they get beaten up and sent out the room with a laugh. That's the sort of investment that we think can make money going forwards for reasons we'll talk about in a minute.